We have come a long way since 2020, and today the CDC officially ended the five-day isolation guidance for people with COVID. This comes as this month we mark four years since the pandemic changed the world as we know it. In January of 2020, the first U.S. case of COVID reported from a person in Washington state. In that March, then President Trump declared a national emergency. It wasn't until December of 2020, the first dose of the vaccine was administered outside a clinical trial to Long Island nurse Sandra Lindsay. In May of 2022, the U.S. reached the grim milestone of one million COVID-related deaths. And then in April of last year, President Biden signed legislation declaring the national emergency over. CBS 2's Alicia Reed joins us now in studio with more on today's major milestone, Alicia. That's right, Christina Maurice. You may remember originally the recommended isolation was 10 days. Then in December 2021, the CDC suggested cutting back to five days. The agency is now saying in most cases there's no need to quarantine. And this news is getting mixed reaction. Still it's contagious, you know, you still can pass it on. The CDC says if you wear a mask, keep your distance from others, and if it's been 24 hours since the last time you had a fever, there's no need to quarantine with COVID-19. You should be staying home if you have COVID. Yeah. Please don't come outside. Some people are not receptive to the idea. Yeah, especially if you're around people who are within that sensitive group that shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't have COVID, then you should definitely stay home. We've come a long way since the pandemic hit four years ago. Gurneys lined hospital hallways. 18 wheelers were used as morgues. Families visiting loved ones at nursing homes spoke to them through windows. And let's not forget masks and social distancing. People are going to get sick again. Then COVID is going to come back again. It's never going to leave if they don't want to handle it the right way and take care of it and do it the right way. Doctors say most people have some level of immunity. COVID-19 hospitalizations are down and they're now streamlining <laughs> recommendations to match other respiratory illnesses like the flu. Dr. Carl Minguez trusts the CDC is making the best decision for the public good, but says it's also confusing. The flu um, doesn't kill as many people per year as COVID does. And while COVID mortality has dropped to the 10th leading cause of mortality versus the third many years ago, um, it still is prevalent in sending tens of thousands to the hospital and uh, it does have a significant mortality rate, even, even higher than the flu. Um, so to treat it on par with that in re with regard to the isolation guidelines is, um, is a little concerning from a public health standpoint. Now, the CDC is urging everyone to get vaccinated to keep infections down. The guidelines for healthcare professionals remain the same. They still have to stay home at least seven days after noticing COVID-19 symptoms and must test negative for two days before returning to work. Oh, Stay wow. Worried. So they still have stricter guidelines than the oh, public does. Absolutely, yeah. because they have patients. We've been through a lot in four years. Well, yeah, I, I Stop and think about it, Absolutely. Right? And I've also found that, for the most part, people are very respectful. They use common sense. They know if they're sick, they're going to put the mask on at the office, right? Correct. You know? We most of them. Here. Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd you. like to say that those folks yes. work with us. Thank you, Alicia. Alicia thank you. All right.